Welcome to lecture 3 in CS4306 algorithm analysis. So in this lecture we will discuss uh, chapter 3 growth of function and asymptotic analysis. Okay. So So this is the overview uh, of this lecture. So uh, in our previous lecture, we discussed uh, how do we analyze uh, an, al an algorithm and we determine the complementary of algorithm. Actually, we will review that in uh, in, in detail uh, in this lecture. Okay. So, and one thing is that so although we we uh, throughout this uh, lecture we will discuss in with a natural number we will consider mu is a natural number and i believe so this is the set of real number and, and positive real number and this n is set of natural number okay so i think you know this okay so let's go to our textbook okay by the way so this is textbook is available in our uh, d2l uh, and this book is also free online uh, so I like you to read through this book okay so in my recorded lecture video I will not go go through in depth but you you need to go through in depth uh, okay and read the book so in our past uh, two lectures we discussed I uh, we discussed introduction to algorithm and we started with analyzing the insertion sort and merge sort algorithm okay and today we will discuss growth of fun growth of functions through asymptotic notations okay so that you remember that in uh, last lecture we discussed bigo uh, we use bigo terms and then today we'll learn what is bo okay so actually uh, if you go through page number 43 it's not actually page number 43 because there are some uh, uh, in the index uh, in the pages so, but uh, we can go through this, okay, so that we discuss this in our uh, uh, last lecture. One thing is that we remember, remember that we analyze our algorithm mostly in worst case. That means for a large uh, aim, okay. So, this order of growth, so that actually this is the content. This is the start chap from chapter uh, 2 also, okay. So Although uh, this is from chapter three, but this book has some uh, discussion in chapter two and something in chapter three. So we need to start with chapter two also. Okay, mm -hmm. we need to back and forth from chapter three and chapter two. Okay, so to grow the function. Okay. Actually, we will learn. So the actually, big O, big O, and then omega notation. This is for upper bound, lower bound, and tight bound. Okay, so we will discuss this. So let's start. Okay, one thing that in our last lecture we discussed how do we analyze uh, algorithm? We discussed with uh, insertion sort algorithm, and we learned that the complexity of insertion sort algorithm is big O n square, right? In, in sh again, and just a review. Why do we say that it is big O n squared? So because there is a for loop, right? And ins inside this for loop, there is another another while loop, right? So a loop inside another loop. So a loop inside another loop. Total is n squared, right? So uh, as we know that everything can be done uh, by for loop can be done by while loop. So it is coming as big O of n squared. Okay. okay so let's start with uh, upper bound so upper bound is the note noted is as big o it is called big o notation okay for instance we learned that in uh, uh, mm, the insertion sort algorithm okay so the running time is big o n squared so in general what is the definition of upper bound the definition of upper bound is that a function, we write a function fn is 
big O of another function gn so in this this course is heavily related with math so I think everybody knows uh, what is a function and what is a function of function okay so here fn is a function of function okay big O this is a function right so how do we know this is a function we see it set of parentheses this is a function right so a function is another function so fn is a function of gn that is generated by big O if there exists constant some constant c and n0 those are both of these are, are positive such that okay such that for all n greater or equal to n0 okay this f n function it has it has a value uh, is, is a limited value okay so that means f n is greater or equal to 0 but less or equal to c times g n so if we look here in our uh, in the here on the diagram so if you see that so this is for instance this is this is the function this is the function of this is the function of fn right so okay so it is uh, based on the value of n its value of y equal to fn if something that happens then our function of fn is ups and down this point and for this um, n so for another c number so you see that c times g n is another function okay g n for same n g n value of g n is multiplied by c and then it is something like for instance this one scroll like this okay so now we see that we see so after so this is a number line this is a number line n0 n0 plus 1 something and n okay this is the number line so this is point at n point n0 point if we draw a vertical line we see that so how does these two function uh, intersect so you see that at this point the value of fn at this point it goes down 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 and at this point start up 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 and at this point it start down 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 so and that means here at least this fn function and gn function these two function intersect at least three points here this point this point and this point so but what is notable over here after this point n0 for this value of n0 so this fn function never intersects with c times g n that means that means this is called the upper bound okay so, so this is called this is called the upper bound and this is denoted as big o n square okay so now similarly if we uh, go to uh, so this is the upper bound notation and let us go to low lower bound lower bound it is called omega notation okay this is omega notation so same thing you see that uh, this function this function fn and c of gn and the same thing almost pretty same thing but here the main difference between these two is that as uh, so let us go uh, mm, 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 it is not big o okay actually it is omega omega so that means a function fn okay is said to be uh, uh, is say be um, lower bound said to have a lower bound if there exists some constant c and c n such that okay so so that's the opposite order just the opposite order for some c and n zero so value of c times g n 
is within a boundary okay so the greater or equal to zero but it is less than equal to a n for all n greater than n zero so you see that this is this fn function and c times gn function they intersect in several points but after this point after this intersection point after this intersection point okay after this intersection point so uh, the function function this function fn never intersect with c of gn so this is the lower bound okay so this is called the lower bound in this denoted x as theta notation okay and now let us go to go to the next one it is called theta notation yeah it is called tight bound tight bound is that you see that here now if you see here this big picture this picture okay theta notation is called tight bound a function fn is called theta notation of another function gn if there is this positive constant c1 c2 and n0 such that okay fn this function is tight within a bound like like this limit is greater or equal to c1 gn but less or equal to c2 into gn for all n greater or equal to n0 so if you understand this for instance in shortcut we see that we see that here this function is lies between this after lies between after this n0 point this function lies between c1 g uh, gn and c2 gn okay it never with after this point so it never will intersect c c1 c1 gn and c2 gn okay now it is better so in that case we can see what we can see that in short in other way you can say that a function is said to be tight bound if it exists both upper bound and lower bound both upper bound and lower bound that is then then uh, it is called mm, a tight bound it is tight into the boundary so now we can understand this all together see all together in one slide so you see so big o is noted notation so if gn gn is 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 a function of big O G N then eventually F N is at most as good or fast as C time G N. So you see that this is for big O notation. Let us see that for big O notation. Okay. Now let us compare these two. So for big O notation F N at uh, this is the upper bound, okay. So upper bound at this point this function g f n is wallized down and then for omega notation at this point the f n is up okay so this is the lower bound and this is the upper bound okay and this is tight bound in between so these are called asymptotic notation that like the most three asymptotic notation are used so you need to uh, understand the definition and some example sorry uh, mm, uh, big o omega and theta notation okay so here some example so if we so what this said it we could say that uh, all of this function right so the maximum is n squared right if this is a function of this is a set of some function so what is this value maximum is n squared and it is omega and then then theta notation will will be the common okay so let us start uh, with, uh, uh, with some proofs of big o notation so for instance, if 
I we have a function fx equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 so it has complexity is is big o x squared okay one thing is that for complexity we will consider the highest term so dominated term over here is x squared right so in other word we can say that we can see that this function fx is less or equal to c times x squared okay with some constant and uh, for some uh, input size greater than some x okay so now we know that for instance let us see how do we we can explain this we know that 2x squared is greater than 2x right who's so 2x squared is greater than 2x if x greater or equal to 1 okay so for instance if x equal to 1 then this side will be 1 then 2 and this side will be 2 so now consider that if x equal to 2 then this side will be 2 squared 2 4 times 2 8 and this will be greater than this is 2 times 2 equal to 4 so now for all x greater than 1 so this is all is true right okay and we also have x squared is greater than 1 greater equal to for all x greater than 1 right so if we replace so if we add up so if we add up this side and this side so if we add so the left side we are getting what we are getting we are 3x three, three squared plus x squared 3x squared and right side 2x plus 1 right so if we replace 2x plus 1 with x 3x squared so what do we know that we have 3x squared that means we have here 3x squared is is greater or equal to uh, 2x plus 1 right so then what do we come come over here so then we put we replace if we 2x 2x plus 1 by 3x squared right so that means we are getting uh x squared so x squared plus 3x squared this is okay like 4 x squared equal to 4 x squared and 4 x squared it is all i s uh okay Okay, this L that so so is four x squared is okay. so now we can see that for input size one is one or greater then when the constant is four or greater or greater so this. 4x squared is less or equal to c c time x squared okay okay now go to the next one for instance uh, this is this is the function this is so if you use a, a calculator so then then uh, texas instrument calculators then you can draw the functions of x x squared 4x squared and then x squared plus 2x plus 1 and we see that x squared plus 2x squared uh, uh, 2x plus 1 is is less than 4x squared So here are some uh, some uh, example sample bigger problems. 
it's a problem like show that fx equal to x square plus 100 is equal m square okay mm -hmm. so this is the proof okay so proof we know that x squared is greater than actually okay so for the assignment one so we will be uh, given some kind of like this kind of problem and then we have to uh, solve like this way okay so this is another example so here this is the proof show that f of x equal to if f of x equal to 3x uh, plus 7 then its complexity is big of x ok so now I think we can go through ok one thing is that there is a formula that so for instance if a function it has complexity big O x then it is also big O x squared okay and this is also big O x cubed and, and so on so that means a meaning that a big O function big O x function will grow at a slower or equal to the rate x x squared x3 and dot 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 okay so that means if this function fx we know that fx this function has a has a um, complexity big o x right so it, if it has complexity big o x then definitely it has complexity big o x squared okay because for all x as positive x x squared is greater than x right for some x like for if it is a uh, greater than equal to one, okay. uh, there is there are mm, in general actually actually this So big O on equal to one. Okay, this is a constant. Big O for 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 the size n equal to thousand. We consider the growth of the function. Okay, so n equal to thousand or no matter. So so big O on this is a constant, right? One is constant. It has no relation with and so that is big O 1 equal to or any constant or 1 or 100 but it will say equal to 1 and then log n okay equal to 10 right so why do we you know, you know that so is base 2 log base 2 1000 equal to equal to is pretty close to log base 2 uh, 1024 right is close to right so that means we get actually this is equal log 2 2 to the power 10 right equal to so equal to 10 so that means it is approximately 10 not exactly Okay, and uh, similarly, these are the some uh, some uh, formal <coughs> function growth rate. Okay. So.
so this uh, this this slide is is display uh, the growth of function commonly used in big o estimate so this is a constant function this one is constant function so uh, this one is constant function okay constant function is log n n n log n n square 2 to the power n and which has the highest factorial n okay, highest growth as factorial n is highest growth uh, so comparison of functions so sometimes we need we need to use this comparison uh, and so it's good if you know this but i like at this point i like you to go through the books okay so the book has more detail it has explanations on some big or notation with explanation you see that it it has a definition okay so usually big or notation is used to describe the running time of an algorithm so uh, by inspecting the algorithm overall structure okay this is the omega notation definition of omega notation okay and uh, theta notation it has so it has some so there are some calculation over here okay so you will get is there a small o notation so we are not considering for now this one okay so this uh, you will get some uh, questions from your for your assignment one from the book okay but instead we have to put some of this okay okay so there are these are the symbol i will discuss this one okay now let's see there are a few more slides and let's see we can go through quickly okay so these are the asymptotic notation actually we know that so asymptotic notation in mathematics we see that limit n tends to infinity if n of g n equal to zero if n is is lower okay this is small o notation okay but uh, go through this please okay there is some extra slides so i am interested in to to give you some notations that have to be familiar please be familiar with notation floor and ceiling right the floor for a real number x the greatest integer less than or equal to x is denoted as it is called floor of x okay and so this is called ceiling ceiling is that the least integer greater than or equal to x is denoted by by ceiling uh, of x so for instance let me go through if we have so, mm, if x is a real number, okay, for instance, maybe 2.5, okay, then this ceiling will be, so what is the ceiling will be? So, the least integer greater than or equal to 2.5. So that there are many numbers those are greater than or equal to 2.5 right so here we know that all of the numbers so this is less than equal to 3 4 5 sorry and so on right so then this is the this is the least greatest integer right so we will consider that is ceiling is t okay but for instance if we say 
2.5 floor of 2.5 okay so then the it will be greater integer less or equal value than x so we know that this is greater than or equal to 1 0 negative 1 okay so what is the what is the greatest number one by one is the greatest number so this one is it will float with one so by this symbol you remember that this is the symbol of float and up it is the symbol of ceiling so for a real number x if so x is a, this is is floor this is the x is greater or equal to is floor and less or equal to is ceiling for instance if you can see x minus 1 in this side and on this side is x plus 1 so this function this is called monotonically increasing function that means it increases with a stable growth okay so these are the some logarithm function that we are uh, called logarithm function in logarithm so we use lz to denote binary logarithm with base 2 okay so and then e so natural logarithm so in computer science we will use binary logarithm okay so that means if we see somewhere anywhere if we see l z that means we will see it is actually denoted as l z with base 2 okay l z n that is LZN. and l n l n is for natural log okay l n is for natural log here are some standard notation and common functions okay and then we everybody is familiar with the factorial of notations right factorial factorial of 0 equal to 1 and factorial of 1 equal to 1 so here are the some calculation of lz let me show you some of this very quickly so l g 2 equal to log 2 2 equal to 2 to the power 1 right so that means equal to 1 and then log l g that means if we say l l g uh maybe 2048 okay and then equal to log 2 2 to the power what is 2048 11 right that means 11 times that is here actually 11 okay, equal to 11 11 times log 2 2 and this is 1 right this is 1 so equal to 11 Okay, so 
just a few things we uh, need to remember that the asymptotic analysis studies how the values of function uh, compare as their augment grow with uh, without bound okay so uh, as there are their arguments grow without bounds okay so we ignore constant and the behavior of the function of small arguments so, so we consider very for very large ar argument okay because we want to ensure that all algorithms are fast for small input we know that right all algorithm are fast for sm uh, small input but we want to consider or analyze what will be the <coughs> complexity of algorithm so based one is large value okay so i will uh, now this is time so by this weekend there will be a an assignment so and and <coughs> the quiz due okay so if you go to the content page and start here now you will see that i have uploaded the syllabus I have uploaded uh, the syllabus, updated the syllabus with version 3, okay. So I have updated new version so of the syllabus. So if we go through the syllabus all the way end, so there are few changes, there are some corrections that I did over here to the assignment. And especially in this in the schedule, so I added assignment. So there will be assignment due this this uh uh, this weekend June uh, January 24 all assignments are due midnight okay so so please follow the latest schedule and what you will see you will see the assignment here in the assignment tab okay and what you want it and then uh, as soon as I upload it I will say send you an email okay and then quizzes will be due here in quizzes okay so then all assignments or quizzes are open book and open source okay so you can you can discuss with your friends and then you can uh, work on the assignment but do not copy from someone else okay so do not do same thing but write it as you in your own way and own world all of your assignments and quizzes assignment will be your own work you cannot copy and paste from somewhere okay and another thing is that uh, so I will uh, upload this lecture video in my YouTube channel and I will put the link over here okay so that course week one content uh, here and also I will add uh, some extra additional uh, I will add the slide and also add an extra additional slide over here okay okay thank you so much and if you have any question then please let me know and from next week I'm planning to have a, a virtual online uh, uh, office hour okay maybe the weekend or that night okay thank you so much i will let you know thank you bye bye